guess, um, what was that like to be standing so close to him after all these years? It was like, it was like the first day it, it all started. It wasn't unusual, it's just like the first day it, it all started. It's just like bringing back from day one. Mm -hmm. you, I mean, is your hostility, your hatred toward him still as strong as ever? Feelings about him? Uh, I, I'm not a person that likes harm to be done to anybody for any reason. I mean, that's not, that's not me. But I believe in justice being done. I mean, uh, no, I mean, I don't, I don't. <clears throat> it's just something that's tucked away from me. So I, I feel like it's, it's justice what it's, what it's come to. Sarah would have been 22, I believe now. Uh, no. She's been 24. Okay. And, um, but, I mean, you think about that often? Oh, all the time, every day. I mean, it's your child. It's your, you know, I constantly think about her all the time. What, what she'd look like, what she'd be like, what would she be? Uh, and that's, that's one reason why I've always wished for this day. To, to have the closure for, not just for me, but for Sarah also. I mean, she had no choice. She she didn't give a second chance. Well, you know, I choose not to go in as support or as a witness. I did, you know, I put this behind me. Uh, I put this behind me a couple, a lot of years ago. Uh, you know, like I said, I got my racing to dedicate my sister to my racing. Uh, I I live every day. For her, you know, and, and for God, because He's, uh, you know, He saved me and helped me through this, through all this, and it has been a long time coming. But I'm glad to hear that it is over, and He did get what He got, and what, that was deserved to Him. But uh, you know, it's it, I just put it behind me a long, long time ago. And yes, I still, I still think about my sister every now and then. Uh, just those, those last few days with my sister, I didn't, I didn't know that those, was my last days, and I wish I did. But how, um, how fresh is all that in your mind that what happened? Oh, it's clear to me, just like it happened last night. I still remember every, every detail about what happened. And what went on? So. I guess um, you've come a long way. You're racing now. You uh, tell us about that. Uh, this is it's just a little thing that my dad had gone before I I even came along. You know, when all that bad stuff happened, when I came to live with my my dad and my stepmom, <coughs> he introduced me to racing and the first race car we had. I just loved it ever since. And now, you know, we got five cars that races with us. And uh, my car is 85, the year that she was born. That's one of the things to help me remember her as. And, you know, I have a car in the back seat, on the back on, of my seat, that rides with me every night when she when I race. So. How old are you now? I'm 21. So did they give you a chance to go in across the street and you said, no, I don't want to do that? I don't know. I stayed out in the street. I'm still freezing from the street. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Why did you not want to come in even as a support witness? Yeah. Why did you not want to come in even as a support witness where you'd be out of the cold? It's like I said, I put it behind me. I didn't even want to come here. I didn't want to, you know, I knew it was going to be done sooner or later. And I felt like I didn't have to show up to make it happen so but I I changed my mind and I did come for
for my first grade teacher. I can't forget my first grade teacher. <laughs> and for Mr. Haddix. Just be there for them and to see them again. It's always a pleasure seeing my old friends. Did, um, did you not want to see his face? I seen it on a picture, mm -hmm. and then I said he's still ugly, but <laughs> <laughs> that's all I wanted to see of him again. Mm -hmm. so. Does, um, um, I guess how how are your injuries? You were injured pretty badly. Are you fully recovered, or did you did you still have any? As far as I know, I'm fully recovered. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I have some times that I wonder about myself, and my dad wonders about me some nights, but, you know, I still got the scars on the back of my head to remind me of what happened, and I got my memories. That's all I need. So. Does anybody else want to say anything? I'm just, I'm glad it's done. I mean, it's been too long. Does anybody have any strong feelings about the fact that he didn't give a real a, a remorseful final statement or confess or apologize? Well, I think one of the reasons we were here. Sorry. One of the reasons we're here and one of the reasons he so deserved the death penalty was that lack of remorse throughout this whole proceeding. That even though he was guilty, he knew he was guilty, he never indicated any remorse. She was a one-of-a-kind sister, and I think I was a one-of-a-kind brother, too, because I played Barbados with her a couple of nights. <laughs> and I ain't afraid to admit it, too. We played it with those jacuzzis and stuff like that. But, uh, man, she was, she was full of life. She was in cheerleading, baseball, softball. Uh, I can remember one of the days when she had a, uh, she was selling chocolate bars for a softball team, and her and mom left me in the car with the chocolate, and when they came back, it was all gone. <laughs> so <laughs> I got some, I've got some really good memories of her. Uh, she just, you know, she just loved, she loved being, uh, she loved being a kid. Every every day we woke up, we went to school, came home. She played cards with me sometimes, or I would go out and play with her. But uh, I'm just glad that I had her for the time that I had her. I look, I look to her more than I look to anybody else in my family. She was the closest to me than anybody. You can do about to sit there for a second. Cody, I know you said recently that. Get that kitchen. I do it. You didn't get me wrapping my nose, did you? Can you edit that out? I got it. I got it. Um, I know you said recently that you sometimes have nightmares of Bobby Wayne Woods. Do you think you'll sleep better now? I had nightmares when I was a little kid when it all happened, but now I don't. I don't think I have any nightmares of what happened. Uh, Do you feel at peace? Yeah, I felt at peace a long, a long time ago. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of glad the nightmares stopped. I did, yeah, and yes, I did have them occasionally every night. Uh, there was a couple of nights I ran out of the house and Dad came chasing after me. But yeah, I remember oh. those. Oh, but uh, yeah, the nightmares. I don't have nightmares no more. The dreams that I have is with my sister and racing and all the good stuff that's in life. What kind of series are you racing? Oh, I do dirt track racing. Dirt track. Yeah. You have a dream of going to. Oh, Every yeah. boy's dream is going to NASCAR, but I don't think it's going to happen. With he him. has a dream, that's for sure. <laughs> not on NASCAR. I mean, not on dirt track racing. Even though that... That's how they started, isn't it? Yeah, even though that a lot of NASCAR drivers do come from right. dirt track, but I had to I had to get up there a little bit more before I can even go. So. Keep our fingers crossed. You're still young. 